What up, roguelike fans? I'm back with another roguelike today, another Angband variant, as you can see at the top of the screen there. I've had a hankering for Angband, and yet limited time means I don't have time for a full Angband excursion. And this particular variant, Tiny Angband, is, as the title would suggest, tiny. It's a 27-level Angband experience instead of a 100-level experience. There is a little text file that comes along with it, but it seems to be a, a readme that's a holdover from earlier versions of the game. You can see um, you can see the etymology of this game. It has a lot to it. Moria and you, Moria, of course. Angband, of course. But also it, it has elements of Zangband and Hangband and Xangband. Um, so I, I think the the readme file that I observed is actually for one of those games. Because it references... Um, dungeons outside the town, and I don't believe this game has dungeons outside the town. I think it's a straight Angband experience with 27 levels. Beyond that, I don't know anything about it. Let's uh, dive in uh, by bringing up the proper window and trying File. File New! Um, let's be Mail. And do we want to randomize this? Or do we want to... Can we randomize this? You can randomize sex. Can we not randomize this? Yeah, you can. Um, should we randomize it? Should we just see what the frick we get? I kind of want to play a paladin, I'll admit. But let's not do that. Let's randomize it. We're playing a, what? A, a barbarian, apparently. Okay. That's a race? Our race is barbarian? That's fascinating. Uh, let's randomize this, too. Although it has brackets. What do the brackets mean? Any entries in parentheses should only be used by advanced players. Nope. Let's play this barbarian warrior, then. We'll play the most basic type of character we could, I guess. Uh, you can enter the number of quests you'd like. So this is something we saw in Tome 2, I think, first. Maybe maybe it was in Zangbed as well. Um, where certain quests can pop up and uh, you have to complete them to gain benefits. We're only allowed less than six. It defaults to five. Let's take the default. Enter. All right, here we are. A male barbarian warrior named Aul. No, it's our patron. Pardon me. 18 slash 60 strength, intelligence 6, wisdom 9, dexterity 18 slash 10, constitution 18 slash 20, charisma 8. Our fighting is superb, our bows and throw is excellent, our saving throw is good, stealth bad. Start off with 143 gold, it is day 1. That's about all I see. Plus 3 to hit, I think, and plus 8 damage is what I'm seeing in melee, and then plus 3 to hit with uh, bows or shooting. Plus two armor class, all based on our stats. We get two blows per round. We're starting off pretty kick-ass. Let's hit enter to accept that. We're one of several children of a guildsman. We are the black sheep of the family, as we always seem to be when we play this game. Um, or any version of Angband. You have blue, gray eyes, straight red hair, and a fair complexion. All right. Enter. And can we name our character? Do we get, can we randomize him? Can we randomize the name? No, I don't know if we can. Let's try... Uh, what's a good barbarian... Uh, Thran... Thrandor. Thrandor the Barbarian. Good enough. Press Q to suicide, ouch. Uh, let's press Enter to continue. Morgoth, Lord of Darkness, returned from the Void. I'm wondering if this is technically a sequel to Angband, since you kill Morgoth and Angband. I wonder if that implies this, or if this is just returning from the Void after the events of the Silmarillion or something. He has revived his former servants with the power of darkness and is leading his dread troops to try to once again... to to try to once again and to hold his fortress Angband. All right. His power is not complete yet, but with the passage of time, he will no doubt regain the power to overwhelm the world with darkness. The Valar, in face of this unforeseen situation, have decided to send their armies in in great force. The great battle in the offing would doubless throw the Middle Earth into chaos. Your Valar, not capitalized this time, even though the earlier one was, Aul, troubled by this, has ordered you in secret on a mission to kill Morgoth. You must enter the cave and defeat Morgoth, who lurks at recesses of the cave, before he regains his great power. Because many of barbarians followed... I, 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 I'm, I'm uh, as I always do, pointing out um, grammatical and... and spelling errors, because to me they seem like bugs that um, maybe have been fixed. It seems like an early version of the game. I don't know. Um, 
but then again, with so many Japanese influences we saw on the on the front page, it's likely this started as a Japanese project and it's been translated to English. So, apologies if if it seems insensitive that I'm pointing out these grammatical errors. Because many of barbarians followed in the past, your tribe is looked on with suspicion. Defeat Morgoth, Lord of Darkness, and clear your people's honor. English, British slash Canadian spelling of honor. Kudos to you. All right, here we go. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. We have a mixture of ASCII and some sort of graphics. The uh, walls do not seem like an ASCII character. I kind of like that character, whatever the hell it is. Looks a little interesting. Let's check our, uh, our E for equipment. We're wielding a bastard sword. We have a, a ring of sustained strength already. Pretty nice. Chain mail. We're not doing bad in terms of our um, starting equipment. Let's try our I. Got some food, got some torches. Let's go get better armor yet. Like a shield and shit. Uh, we've only got a little bit of money, so we can't afford things like metal scale mail or whatnot. But to start us off, let's get um, the best shield we can. Let's see more, first of all. Gauntless hard leather boots. Let's get the standard gauntlets. Purchase A. I'm going to buy one. I won't be explaining everything here. There's a million, um, a million Angband videos or, or Angband uh, variant videos I have up on the channel. So if you're curious, those might give you a better primer on the game proper. We're really just going to kind of walk through this about the hard leather boots. Walk through this to experience the discrepancies between this and standard Angband. Let's get, I guess, a small leather shield. Not seeing a better option. Yeah. And um, a hard leather cap. All right, let's exit this by pressing escape. And we're going to press, uh, what, W to wield? I'm trying to juggle where I put my... Oh, shit. Didn't mean to move the screen on you guys. Sorry about that. Move it back. I'm trying to juggle where to put my game... My actual small game window, because it plays in a, a window that's inches across. Uh, I'm trying to play in my big OBS Studio window, but I can't have the game window off screen or it stops recording properly. So it's always a jug juggle to place it somewhere. Let's wield our uh, small leather shield. Farmer Maggot seems sad. Whoops. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, whatever. We lit our torch prematurely. Farmer Maggot seems sad. Now, there have been many variants of, of Angban that have an, an, an external town and uh, ex external countryside to the town where you can go out and actually fight Farmer Maggot's dogs in the field and shit or rescue them or whatnot. Let's go. Uh, I didn't mean to attack him. I meant to talk to him. I didn't mean to push past him either. Let's try T, maybe? No, let's take off. Uh, let's try question mark and see if there's a way to talk to townsfolk. I don't know if you can get quests from townsfolk or not. Um, command, three. <clears throat> Aim, browse, close, drop, equip. La 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 la. I'm not seeing it here. With sad, we will not get any spells in this version. We'll get to see if there's any uh, any specialties of spells. But we've never played a barbarian before, so on this channel, I don't think for for this game. For, for an Angman variant. So let's just uh, head into the dungeon with our awesome, awesome wealth. I didn't mean to do that. Um, and we will see how it goes. Now, again, I don't I don't know what to expect. I don't know how much of, of this game is going to be... Um, you know, like, it, I know it's 27 levels long. Do they, do they just nerf Morgoth's stats and put them on level 27, and the rest of the game to that point is the same as any other Angman game? Or... Like on level two, are we going to start experiencing things we would experience normally on like level eight? Is it like multiplied by four roughly in terms of the the difficulty of the depths? In any event, we're not leaving this level till we've killed a few things. The voice of owl booms out. Use my gift wisely. What gift? Uh, we're already we're already at level two, guys. That was nice and easy. Leveled up. Let's go pick up. Um, oh, a longbow. Let's get that. Let's, uh, can we wield it? Is that, or, or do we have like a, um, yeah, shooting with a longbow. Okay. So we have, uh, like in our offhand. So we're still using our bastard sword. And yet we have, with the uh, shooting, we have that. 
we are a rookie now, guys. Let's not just straight dive. That would be suicide. And we also want to learn more about the game. I want to find out what else is on this uh, on this death. Let's try period and a direction to run. Yeah, it works fine. Open. My apologies for not getting right back to uh, recording there after the uh, the voice of... You feel very strong. Wow. Oh, he beefed up my strength, at least temporarily. I give th I give thine courage. I give thee courage? You feel like a hero. I can see the word hero at the bottom of the screen. Um, it might be like the equivalent of like a, a bravery spell or something where we uh, we get temporary stat increases. My, my strength is currently 1896. I don't know if that's permanent. Um... Yeah, I apologize for not getting right back to um, recording after the uh, Zaskazian videos. It had been my intention to do so. But I had... Um, I have an ongoing... Um, what is this? Small iron chest. Let's open it. Like an idiot. You pick the lock. A puff of green grass, sur grass surrounds it. You're poisoned. All right, let's grab up the stuff that's here. A set of dragon gloves. We're no longer poisoned, so that didn't last long. A two-handed sword. Okay. We don't want to use that. We've got our um, shield. I don't know if it matters, to be honest, in, in Yang Band. Let's take a look at our um, inventory. Let's, let's equip... Let's wield C. The dragon gloves at least give us four armor class instead of the old gauntlets that give us two. They're probably enchanted in some way, too, that hopefully we'll determine as we walk around. I don't know how that works. Um, the two-handed sword does 3d6 damage. The bastard sword only does 3d4, so I guess we'll wield it. Do you want to do two-handed combat? No, I guess we won't. No. I don't know if it... You know, because we're using a, um, a two-handed sword, I don't know if we're now impaired because we're also using a shield. And that, that, that single combat doesn't indicate we're impaired. We kicked his ass. Let's rest over here for a minute. What are we doing? Anyways, to finish my thought, um, yeah, I started a, a journey into uh, getting a tooth implant about a year and a half ago. I had cracked a tooth, and they had to, they had to, they tried to do a root canal, and it wasn't going to work. Slew a kobold and a raven. Um, so that, that is still ongoing. After we moved, I had to change dentists, and it took a while to, uh, let's get this, but let's not put it on yet. It took a while to get back into the, uh, uh to, to get going on things again. What do I keep seeing there? I saw words pop up, but I couldn't tell what it said. Um, so yeah, I had to, uh, I had to get that, the next, you feel the set of dragon gloves you are wearing on your hands is excellent. Excellent. Um, yeah, I had that, I had that, uh, next step in that surgery, uh, last week, which left me for a few days not really wanting to spend a lot of time talking. Um, and following that, our, uh, our lovely, lovely cat, Lenius, is, uh, is not faring all that well. He's lost a lot of weight. Um, and we've had to, uh, we had to have him in the vet for very expensive, uh, ultrasounds. And, uh, we're waiting on some biopsy results, so hopefully he'll be okay. Well, don't really know what's happening there. Um, anyways, that's been absorbing our time and thoughts for the last few days. But, that said, I have time today. Why not play some games? Specifically some roguelikes. More specifically some Angband variants. More specifically Tiny Angband. It looks like these dungeon levels are, are potentially smaller than more traditional uh, Angband levels. I'm not sure if that's true. I'm pressing S to see. Oh, there we go, yeah. I will go back to the surface and maybe we want to get some stuff identified if possible. Like our bone ring and maybe our dragon gloves. We know they're uh, excellent. We don't know anything else about them. Let's take a look at them. Do we know anything about that? What does excellent mean? Just excellent. It just means they're excellent. We didn't pick up a pick. I haven't seen any gold in the walls here. Maybe there is none. Maybe they, they, maybe they dispensed with that in Tiny Yang Band to, uh, to discourage constant uh, trips to the surface. I pressed um, the top left key, that's the tilde key, and its response was, yes, yes, now tell me about your childhood. I thought um, I thought that was maybe previous messages. I get confused for a minute. Let's uh, pass our turn here. 
until we're not confused anymore. Yeah, we're not confused anymore. Unfortunately, let's try D for disarm. Yeah, we disarmed it. We're level 4 already, so... I, I knew this game was condensed in terms of its experience, obviously. In terms of the experience of the game. But it seems like it's condensed in terms of the experience of... your experience points as well. Let's get those. You can always sell them, right? Unless selling's been disabled in this version of the game, I don't know. Got a slime mold. Oops. Confused again. All right, let's pass our turn time here until we've... Uh, we're not confused. Disarm it. Did it. Let me rearrange my desk here a bit so I don't uh, strain my wrist. An ever present danger for roguelikers repetitive stress injury. You can just bump into the doors here to open them. We can press O, of course, to try and open it, but uh, pressing into it will do the same thing. Not just bump to attack, but also bump to open for doors, not for chests. Got some pebbles in case we get a sling. Broken dagger we certainly don't need. Searching here, not finding anything. All right. Oh, yeah, there is something in the wall. So a pick would have helped us. We could mine that out. Let's take a look at our map. Shift M. Am I missing? Um, let me just move this around. Am I missing anything? What the hell? I don't think so. I think that's the whole level. It's a quite a small level. You can see the bottom written, hit M, N for tilled, or K for exclamation point to display auto-picker items. I don't really know what that means. We're going to go back to the surface, and we're going to come in and look for the first the first uh, staircase down. Uh, maybe not, but we'll get one, one more level under our belt, then we'll do that. Move this window again. I will, of course, include a link to where you can get this version of Tiny Ang Band. I have, it said it's version 0 0.03, but I, for all I know, it's the most current version. I don't know, to be perfectly honest. So far, it seems basically functional. Here's a staircase over here. Really? Leave the level? Yep. All right, let's go sell some things. I wish I knew more about, you know, I'm using a two-handed weapon. Is that a problem for me? I wish I knew more about that. We could play more of a barbarian, like sell our shield and just kick ass with a two-handed sword. But for now, let's sell our bastard sword. Yeah. Let's also sell our rounded pebbles, all of them. Oh, they were magical pebbles. Magical pebbles. We should buy some arrows for our longbow, right? Flight arrows? Sure. Purchase E. 99? Sure. Alright, so we have some arrows for our bow. Let's go over to number one over here to... um. get us purchase we'll stick with our um let's purchase a pick we'll stick with our um torches for now oh look at that magical figurines we can buy here so you can buy magical stuff in this shop that's kind of interesting oh let's also sell our spikes whoops okay let's try wielding the pick and see if it uh if it fills a digging with slot or if it becomes... No. 
Our two-handed sword, by the way, is good. We can see that now. Let's go back to wielding the two-handed sword. So we'll have to swap it out every time we want to use it. A little bit of a pain in the ass, but so be it. Now let's see if we have uh, the ability to get anything identified. How are we doing for, for gold here? Do we see this on this? Our front page, oh yeah, 195. Can we afford like a scroll of identify? J. Yeah, we can afford a few of them. Let's get three of them. I don't have enough of that. Okay, so purchase two of them. All right, let's uh, read a scroll of identify. We won't identify the sword right now only because um, we already know it's good. I want to make sure these rings aren't cursed before I put them on. That's a ring of levitation. The bone one was. Let's read another scroll of identify. And the tiger ring is a ring of searching. Let's wield both of those. Oh no, not both of them. Let's get rid of the ring of searching. We'll keep the ring of sustained strength at the of that. Our strength is 96, so it doesn't seem to be coming down. Let's give him the blue potion. Let's resist cold for future reference. Let's also sell him the scroll of Valbot Nagorov. Store, door and stair location. And, uh, nothing he wants. Uh, let's go back over here and sell him this, the ring of, sell the ring of searching. That would help us find secret doors and stuff faster. But I'd rather have the ring of sustained strength, which means we can't, um, we can't have our strength drained. A life spell book. So it looks like, yeah, some of the Zhang Band different spell classes are here, I think. We don't have anywhere near enough money to buy some of the more interesting stuff here. Although there's some nice, uh, nice two handed swords, of course. And some magical arrows. We don't need those. What are these, like, red. What are these doors and shit? Magic Master. So he'll identify possessions, all of them, perhaps, for 800. I don't know. Recharge stuff in there. Sondar in the casino. Okay, we can gamble. Healing prayer or restoration. Okay, permanently. We wouldn't have to buy like a potion of restoration. If we lose our experience, we can pay him to restore our experience back. Statues, which I assume will summon um, monsters to fight for us. That's my guess. Oh, it's my home. We live here. This guy will enchant my bow for 400 gold. That's interesting. Not going to bother right now. We will find a better bow anyway later. And Geralt Duel will enchant my weapon or my armor. Not going to do any of it right now. Let's head back into the dungeon. As soon as we're level 5, I'll leave this uh, spear there. I don't need it. Chromium wand, we'll get that. Um, as soon as we are level 5, we'll head down to the next dungeon level. Oh, something covered me in acid. Some of my flight arrows were destroyed. It's a giant worker ant. This thing is a little bit vicious. What's this? Pile of rubble. Oh, we know what that is. I can walk on this, whatever it is. It won't even let me identify it. It's just it's just decorative or something. Digging out all the rubble. Found an orange potion under one of them. I don't know what that is. Like, is it foliage or something? Let's go with these arrows and then we'll... Oh, shit. Sling. Sure, I'll carry that. The X's appear to show places we haven't stepped. That's what that is, for the record. Uh, so if you can't see it, and if you haven't stepped there, because we uh, we had seen this, of course, in State of X, right? If we go to here, we've now seen all four of these, but I think they'll all be X's if we back off. No. Or ones you haven't been beside, maybe? I don't know, guys. Yeah, now that I stepped there, it's gone. It must be what I said.
midge. Oh! Maybe we got teleported? I didn't see what happened. We're still on dungeon level 1. Looks like the green hashtags just block line of sight, but don't block movement. Now I'm curious to explore this level just because it's got all this weird foresty shit on it, whatever these things are. <coughs> Pardon me. Too far away. It, uh, frick you. Frick you. Ever present danger. Let's bring this down a bit too. There we go. Should be about good. Yeah, I gotta constantly juggle where to put the window when I'm playing in uh, OBS Studios. What stat do I want to raise? What happened? Um, sorry guys, I'm trying to move my window again so I can see what it's saying. I officially our strength is 1826, it says here, and yet our uh, and our constitution is 16, even though it looks like 1820, etc. Do we want to raise our? Um, let's raise our constitution. E. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, it's because we hit level 5, I guess. Wow, you feel very healthy. The voice of Owl booms out. Use my gift wisely. You feel something roll beneath your feet. I guess we get a gift for that. A pair of metal shod boots. I'm going to wear those. I'm just going to wear them outright because, uh... Oops. They were given to me by my, by my Valar, so I'm assuming they're good. I may have lied. We may go back to the surface one more time to get rid of these potions, like to empty our inventory and learn what some of these new potions are so when we find them in the future we can use them. But maybe I'll finish exploring the level first. Again, not knowing what to expect. This isn't like standard Angbam where I can be like, okay, I go down to the next level and I know I'm safe at level 5. Um, I have no idea what constitutes safe at dungeon level 5 in this game. Killed the bat. Killed the kobold. Got some gold. The stuff that you tunnel out of walls is less frequent than I'm used to so far in this version. We've only seen it once. Looks like our charisma's been lowered somehow. Not sure how. Uh, this is a job for our pick. Let's wear our... What? Did I drop my pick? Did it get destroyed, perhaps? By one of those... Oh, on my right arm. All right, let's just try tunneling. Am I, am I using it somehow? Am I wielding, like, a, a pick in one hand and a shield in the other? That's not what I'm trying to do. Alright, I guess that's okay. Of 
kind of a pain in the ass. I didn't even have to switch. I just dug there and it gave me it, so maybe I don't need the pick. I don't know. A little confusing. Misty Potion. My light's growing faint. We're going to lose our torch soon. It's okay. We got like four more of them. What is it saying there? I keep seeing words flash across. Oh, our light has gone out. Just gather as many potions as we can on this level so that we are uh, better armed with knowledge when we finally go down to the next depth. Kill a bunch of seas. This particular staircase here it just says up. It looks like it's a different color than the earlier ones we might have seen. Is that it? No, not quite. Not quite. Yeah, I guess that is it. Unless you find a secret door. Oh, wait a minute. You feel the broad axe in your pack is average? That's fine. Alright, once more to the surface, guys, we'll ditch all the shit we're carrying that we don't want. Learn what these various, um... Learn what these various potions are. And uh, then we'll dive. As soon as we get in, we'll take the first staircase we find. Sorry, everything's in my way. Come on. Cell. Cell orange potion. One. Neutralize poison. We'll hang on to one of those. Potion restore constitution. That's great. Oh, that's what he's selling. Sorry. Sell a brown potion. Cure light wounds, okay. Sell a black potion. Potion of speed, we don't want to lose any more of those. Those are great. Sell a red potion. There's this heat and a misty potion. Heroism. It'll do whatever we happen when we turn into a hero that time. Second, I lost the uh, window. Come on! Damn it. You're pissing me off, window. By being so small. Where are you? There we are. Alright, uh, let's also sell... Scroll of Reiner Zunflit. Detect Invisible. Sell. So the good news is, when we go into the dungeon later, we find more of these. We'll instantly know what they are. And we're also making money in the process, right? Alright, that's all good. Uh, anything else we want to sell here? We've got these rings. Uh, new rings, I think. we got this extra sling. Let's go across to the weapon shop. Sell the sling. And the broad axe. And what else we got here? Um, we can get rid of our gauntlets and our hard leather boots, of course. Maybe even our shield and, and go with the uh, two handed fighting, whatever that means in this game. Sell this small leather shield.
you know, maybe I won't switch over to two-handed fighting yet. I think that's all we have. There might be a, another ring or something. I don't remember. A chromium wand. Let's, uh... You know what, let's go sell it. Nah. Yeah. Let's just sell it. Can't. Slow monster, okay. We'll know about it from the future. And let's head back in. Carnelian ring. All right, let's find the first staircase down we can. Grab all the potions for now. Flask of well is fine. Maybe someday we'll have a lantern soon. Be a little better than our torches. Gives a little more sight range, I believe. Search, 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 search. Yep. Grab the dagger, we can always sell it. Green jelly. Killed it. Slime molds, we can eat those. We carry it as backup food. Search, 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 search. There we go. That's what we want, but let's grab the... Uh, Scroll first. And then we'll just take this particular staircase. Yeah. So guys, no idea what to expect here. I have no idea if we're like vastly under-leveled for this. Are those just cave spiders? They are. Let's try and take on this ant first. Welcome to level 6. Wow, you feel very strong. The voice of Owl booms out. We use my gift wisely. And we got ourselves a metal shield. Let's equip that. Everything's in my way. One second here. Inventory. No. Equipment. Alright. I don't know how we're using a two-handed sword in one hand, but I will accept that. These guys are surrounding us fast. So far, we're not doing bad, I guess. Oh, I don't want that. Drop Q. Let's rest here. No. Rest. Comes an orc, maybe, or snaga? Snotling. Let's rest again. Let's rest again. Like we did last summer. We can feel the metal shield is excellent. We're not even wearing a cloak. Let's get this. Let's wear it. Let's wear Q. We haven't found any cursed items yet. That doesn't mean there aren't any. This is probably the file of Gladriel. A sycamore staff. We're finding tons of good shit. What, no room? No room. What can we drop, guys? What do we not... We don't need R. Let's get this. We gotta get rid of our shit, guys, so I guess we're back to the surface once more. We're going to have to buy some uh, scrolls of recall soon, so we're not doing this trek repeatedly.
door is stuck. Let's press Shift B for bash. Bash it open. And let's get the hell out of here. Yep. All right, once more, we're going to go sell some stuff and learn about it. Um, not yet. Sorry. What do we have? You know what? Let's go sell all these potions except the speed. We're eating up a lot of our... Uh, a lot of our inventory space. Whence come you, then, that you have never heard of the Rhine Gold? I literally don't know what you're talking about. I have never heard of the Rhine Gold. Sounds like a flavor of pretzel or something. Clisters. Blessing, okay. McThurder. Magic mapping, got it. Trap detection. Keep the other one. Nah, fuck it. Sell that one, too. Freed up a lot of inventory space there, guys. What else we got to sell? We want to find out what these staves do, as well as this carnelian ring. We want to get rid of the uh, leather shield and the dagger. It was a plus four, plus one dagger, but that's fine. Um, fuck off. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I got to move the little uh, window that I'm watching in. Or that I'm that I'm playing in the actual game window, and then I miss, and it drags the uh, OBS Studios window around for you. Let's go over here and sell L. All right, let's go buy as many scrolls of identify as we can afford. We got how much? We got like fifteen hundred gold. We should be able to afford quite a few of them. Maybe we can even do this. Is this how does this work? Nope. Is it over here? Can I pay 800 and just have him identify everything? I. Do you pay for identify? Yeah. Alright. Let's take a look at what uh, we have. So the staff is a staff of trap location with 8 charges left. A staff of detect invisible with 24 charges. One of the rings is cursed. We can just drop that. The file of Gladriel, of course. We're going to keep that. That would seem to be it. Oh, let's look at our equipment as well. Oh, nice. So our two-handed sword is plus eight to hit, plus five damage. Holy shit. Our small metal shield of resist acid. It'll uh, have any acid damage we take. Um, gives us five defense plus six magic defense for 11 defense. Longbow of accuracy, plus two to hit, plus nine damage. Plus one something? I don't know. And anything else? The chainmail's been slightly damaged. The cloak is plus one, or plus two. The dragon gloves of agility. Oh, four plus seven. Nice. Metal shod boots of levitation. So we don't need the ring of levitation anymore, as long as we're going to be wearing those boots. What was our new ring? Oh, searching. We don't want that. Let's drop the ring of searching. Let's wear for now the ring of sustained charisma instead of levitation. Don't really care about charisma. I think it just affects uh, how much, you know, inventory, uh, how much things cost in stores, or how much you can get for selling them. Let's sell our both our rings of levitation. And that appears to be it, right? We need the torches. I think. Can we examine something? X for examine? No. I for uh, shift I for inspect? No. Oh yeah, examine which item? H. You have no special item knowledge about that item. Okay. I think we're good to go down once more. We've only got like 15 minutes left in this playthrough, guys. It's been almost uh, an hour here, even 45 minutes. I'm enjoying this game so far. I'm intrigued by it. Let's dive. Pick this up for now. You know, we'll probably drop it.
We hear a door burst open. Oh, it's Farmer Maggot's dog, Grip. It was a great hit. We, we killed it pretty easily. It was the first boss we've encountered in this game, guys. I could and probably should take the robe in case it's magical and we can sell it, but we're intending to dive a bit. I'm just going to get filled up with the inventory items anyway, and I'll probably end up dropping it. I'll get this for now. Looking for the first staircase down, guys. Whoops. Raven. Might as well get the scroll. Let's try reading it. See what the hell it does. Is it like identify all traps? You sense the presence of traps. It also, like, made certain things disappear. I don't see any traps. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know what good that was, but okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go get these snotlings. Everything's charging in on us, guys. Just jackals, though. All right. Let's see if we can get this this particular level fully explored before you have to quit. Let's use the uh, pressing U for use. Nope. Pressing Shift U. No. Oh, we have some special abilities. We have shield bashing. Costs us 15 something. Never fails. We have Berserk. And we have Extra Might. Okay, well, that's interesting. I don't know. Those are special racial powers. That came about with Zang Band, I believe. We're trying to use our uh, file of Galadriel. How do we do that? It's not a staff. Is A Shift A for activate? Yeah. Shift A. Oh, that's the longbow. Can we wield the file of Gladriel? Oh, that sees much further. We can get rid of our torches. Let's go ahead and drop them. Drop our uh let's drop our flasks of oil we don't need. And let's drop our um our wooden torches. I didn't realize the uh, file acted as a light source. I guess it makes sense. I thought it was uh, only you could use it to light up a room, say. And let's activate it. Failed to activate it properly. And there we go. We can see uh, see more of that room. Cupra nickel wand. I don't know that word. Is that a legitimate metal cupra nickel, or is that an invented word for tiny ang band? Tunneling away the rubble with shift T. to move this window. My mouse is kind of acting up these days. Oh, there's the other one. There's Fang, Farmer Maggot's other dog. I wonder if Farmer Maggot's so sad as dogs went over to the dark side. Let's kill off these guys, and we'll come back and tunnel that out.
Alright, we may have to wield the damn pick now. Let's drop that cloak in a minute. Wield the sword again. We should uh, aim this wand at somebody and activate the staff too in a minute. Next time we see a monster, we'll try out the wand and the staff. See what they do. Save ourselves on the uh, the cost of getting identified stuff. Try aiming a Cooper nickel wand to the west. The startling starts moving faster, so it's a wand of speed up monsters. We don't want that. Activate the brass wand. All right, I confused it. Let's drop a few things here. Let's go in the corner here and drop. Um, let's drop the wand of haste monster. Let's drop the Average Cloak. Let's drop the Cursed Shield. And that's about it. Keep the rest of it for now. And we'll try and use that uh, Staff in a second, too, if we see a monster. Press U for use, and we'll use the maple staff. We failed. Oh, okay, so that detects uh, treasure for us. We can see that there's treasure, say, buried in the wall there. Let's aim the zinc wand at this dude. Um, so it is a wand of what? Magic missile. Let's fire our flight arrow at that guy. Whoops. I'm not sure if these guys can poison us, but they don't seem to have done so yet. The cave spiders. I think we're almost done with this level and almost done with this particular recording, guys. <clears throat> Already character level eight. I wasn't even paying attention. Like we've leveled up quite a bit. Certainly the leveling is a, a rapid process in this. It kind of isn't any Ang Band game, but uh, seems exceptionally so here. I think you get a little bit of experience for picking locks, so it's worthwhile doing so. Artifact here. Oh, whip. 
Let's pick it up. No, no room. Not gonna pick it up. Auto destroying. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Hard leather armor. We don't need it. Even if it's good, we don't need it. Our chainmail's gonna be better. I keep seeing something. Oh, you faint from lack of food. You're paralyzed. Jesus Christ. Where does it tell us where we're even hungry? Let's eat some rations of food. Didn't even notice. Game could use a little bit uh, bigger point of that. Let's find our staircase up. When we return, we're going to get rid of our shit, but we'll also... Um, we'll... Oh, I'm not trying to have gas bells. Are the caps lock on or something? We'll also... Um, Jesus. I'm not trying to highlight shit. What are you doing? Um, oh my god, you kill me. Alright. We'll also um, buy words of recall because I don't want to have to keep doing this. Where's the damn staircase? Somewhere to the east, I thought I saw it. Oh, we're all the way back to the top. I wonder if you always go back to the top when you go up. That'd be kind of convenient, wouldn't it? We were on dungeon level two. Interesting. Anyways, it's nighttime in the town. We're back. I'm going to call it here. My throat's starting to get a bit raw from talking. Um, I'll be back soon. Uh, probably tomorrow. I don't have anything scheduled, so aside from a dinner out with my wife and my parents. Um... So I should have time during the day to do some recording tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be back with uh, more Tiny Ang Band. And yeah, so I mean, so far we're doing fine as far as I can tell. Um, I don't really have any basis to make a, a solid judgment on. But um, yeah, we'll sell off our stuff and we'll try and get down to level 3 tomorrow. And then we'll be like 10% of the way there. More than. Anyways, have a good day wherever you are. Let's press... Um, control S, maybe? Saving the game, okay. And Control X... We are Thrandor the Barbarian, level 9, killed by nobody yet. In the town, Max. Max 2. I don't know what that means. Anyways, see ya.